I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com. Look, every night we watch the same shows, Fast Money and Mad Money, and we want to use those ideas to grow our money. Well, good trading takes more than just pushing the buy button the next morning on the stocks you saw last night on TV. I'm here to help you make money on these three stocks I saw on TV. First of all, we can't really talk about TV unless we talk about Apple. Carl Icahn was on CNBC um, letting everybody know that he has completely sold his stake in Apple. Now, it's interesting if you remember, he was the one that was on CNBC um, letting everybody know that he had a massive stake in Apple after he, of course, owned the stock. So he basically sucked. Uh, and there's nothing against the law about this. I don't even think it's, I don't think it's unethical. It just kind of happened. And if you followed along, well, you were like one step uh, behind. Um, he basically sucked a lot of people in after he got into the stock and their buying pushed the stock higher. Now the stock's rolling over and he's been out for a bit. Um, now that he's finally out, he lets everyone know. So what happens? You're going to get more of a reflex selling from uh, traders from those same retail folks who bought because Carl was in are now selling because Carl was out. Let's get away from that and just think about this. This is a stock that's been rolling over for a while. Um, it's I guess it's ripe for a rebound, but here's the thing. I know a lot of people that are still big Apple um, enthusiasts, um, even because they might have a car in the future. That is not the reason to own this stock. In a nutshell, here's the deal. If you're one of these Apollonians, if the stock starts trading to a new low, um, you want to get out. If the stock rebounds a bit, then you want to get out there as well. I just think if you're owning Apple, you're kind of in jail uh, right now. Okay, Amazon, the blue uh, little arrow here, this is where this stock is trading. They reported blowout numbers, and the stock's up a lot. Here's the deal with Amazon. This thing is up so much. You look at three standard deviations. I mean, this I could probably put this thing out to four standard deviations, and it'd still be outside the Bollinger Bands. This is a stock. Anything could happen. It could gap and just continue to move higher, but I just kind of don't think so. I think this is a stock that you want to be selling in the morning. Whether you short it or not, that's your deal. But if you look and see what happened to Facebook, Facebook actually traded up um, for a while in the morning. It really held in above this, uh, you know, like the opening low here, I'll call it, until afternoon. So this stock was hanging in there pretty good, but ultimately, you know, all this buying dries up and then it's just profit taken Thursday. Um, you could see the same thing with Amazon um, tomorrow on Friday. So if you're long Amazon, I think you want to be taking profits unless you're holding something for long term capital gains treatment. It's no reason for you not to sell it when you've made all this money. You just say, Mr. Market, thank you very much. Okay, um, Avnet, they reported a quarter that was, let's just say, less than enthusiastic. Um, they, their revenues really kind of got crushed pretty good. Well, Kramer had the CEO of the company on Mad Money, who was kind of explaining things a bit. Kramer, Kramer likes the stock. He thinks uh, he wants to stick with it. But... Um, so he likes it, but I got to tell you, you really need to just follow back on the chart. The dividend isn't an issue, so there's no real reason to be buying um, this stock. If you want to buy the company, then talk to Warren Buffett. He's the guy that buys companies. The rest of us just buy stocks. This has been drifting sideways for quite a while. This is not a buying opportunity, and even if um, even if you're looking to be trading a channel, you know, let the stock do this. Let it come down to the bottom of the channel. Right now, you're seriously in no man's land. You don't want to be there. So I wouldn't take advantage of this uh, sell-off to do anything other than say, okay, well, we'll check that box. Let's go to another stock that might be more interesting. Okay, that's it for these three stocks I saw on TV. Hope it helps.